docs be updated may require new test cases this is a good point but I think it's in the snapshot so probably I need to update danger so it checks for the snapshot files as well so this bot is made with this tool called danger um, I love danger it's a way to enforce those kinds of conventions like please update tests as part of pull requests within the, the CI pipeline which is the point is that then you don't have to tell yourself like go through check this when you review the pull request and say hey you have to do this and that and this and that the bot does it for you and here I'd basically be telling this to myself um, but having the bot saves me thinking about it basically um, and if someone else ever wants to contribute to the project then they can use the bot as well without having me being involved um, so the problem here is that I'm not checking for the snapshot file changes which end in .snap so this danger file configures how the bot works and it's far from being um, well coded but it's simple enough so far and uh, I'm still learning how best to do this with danger and for now I've only been using it on projects where I'm, I'm on my own so not like it, it's such a big deal if the bot says something that's wrong um, so now it's testing for that snap so it should be better um, So new commit char 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 I always forget char QA um, let danger know about snapshot file changes as test changes. And this part about updating the library, well that's true. Um, maybe I should so it's not always relevant what it says right there but usually it at least makes me think a bit like hey I'm changing the library hmm. maybe I should actually update the docs as well even though it seems inconsequential um, so what do the docs say about this paste feature Under the scene, um, we also the clipboard content will be hmm. so. What I want to convey here is that the clipboard coming from this extension will be slightly different from the one that the browser generates by default um, the stored content mm. this also changes the HTML clipboard content to be more semantic with less um, copy to other web processors editors I think this is worth like the extra paragraph it's not super clear what it means exactly but at least it makes it clear that you shouldn't expect this to work the same way as um, the default behavior of the browser or of draft.js docs copy paste mention changes to um, which copy paste compared to browser default so here I actually have a commit hook that checks my commits against the convention and that's why if I use no verify to skip the pre-commit hook it also skips the commit hook that's handling the, um, the commit messages which is a bit of a pain yeah and here it says it's too long it 
to browser copy paste. So commit message length in the past I used not to care too much. Um, I was like, well, why do I care if it's 80 characters or more? I just want to type what I need to type. But these days I need I tend to use very small terminals on my on a screen that contains everything side by side. Um, and here the terminal, how, how much space does it have? Like 60 columns. So I kind of think it's a good idea to limit it. Um, dash F origin bug. Um, and that's how one liner pull request turns into a free file change. So then the CI will run again and um, Danger will update this message with its new um, understanding of the pull request. And it should say, um, it should remove this and it should remove that as well since I've just updated the docs. Um, Yeah, so it says it requires new test cases because I fixed something that's called, that's a bug. Because I changed something in library that's that's a bug. And I didn't add tests. But now that I did make it understand snapshot files as tests, it should know not to display that. Um, let's see. 